is the, the time of year when they are uh, looking for that special someone to settle down with. This is the end of the season. They're looking to mate and lay eggs. And then, uh, then most of them are gonna die within the next few weeks. They will congregate on the trunks of ash trees and lilacs and, and some others. And uh, here at the Master Gardener Clinic, we usually get at least a few kind of panicky phone calls from people wondering what the heck is happening to their, their tree or their shrub and what should they do about it. If you do get a big uh, uh, conglomeration of them on your tree, you can spray water on the tree trunk and knock them off. We have a master gardener who says that her chickens love eating these right off the, the tree trunk. I don't know that everybody has access to chickens, but that's one option. They show up, they make a big mess, and then when the weather turns cool, usually before Halloween, then they're all gonna die off and there'll be a bunch of, of uh, dead aphids at the base of the tree. But they'll be laying eggs in the nooks and crannies of the bark for next year. And I know after the year that we've all had, we might be looking at these and thinking, oh no, what now? This is just a normal annual event. And, and one thing I guess I, I'd like to add too is that at this point, using pesticides isn't gonna, gonna give you an advantage or get rid of them. So save yourself the trouble and your money. And if they are causing a problem, spray them off with the hose or do your best to ignore them, which I know is not so easy when they're trying to fly up your nose and, and into your eyes. That might be an advantage of, of a lot of us wearing masks right now, is that maybe it's protecting our noses from, from little uh, blue ash aphids. They're, they're not doing any harm right now, and um, just do your best to, to ignore them. They'll be gone soon enough.